What's up guys welcome back to yet another video. OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro are receiving a new update which is again based on Oxygen OS 12.1. So in this video let's quickly go through all the changes what OnePlus have done with this latest update. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So here we have our OnePlus 9. First let me show you the software information. Android version is Android 12. We still have 5th May 2022 security patch. Other phones of OnePlus like OnePlus Nord, OnePlus 9 RT have already received the June patch. Talking about version, version is C.61. Previously, we had C.60 version which was based on Oxygen OS 12.1 and this is the second build based on Oxygen OS 12.1. And guys, before moving ahead, let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video. We still have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel but they do watch our videos. So if you guys find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Update size was 553 MB from C.60 version. And if you guys haven't received the update, I'll try to provide all the download links in the description below. Just download the file and place it inside the internal storage of your device. And after that, nowadays we don't require OnePlus local update application because you can locally update your device from the about section itself. By tapping on these three dots, you'll get the local install option. But for those, if this option is not present, you need to enable developer options so for that what you can do is just go to version tap on build number seven times until you see you are a developer now and once you have enabled the developer option you will be able to find the option of local install just tapping on it select the file which you have downloaded and the installation process will automatically start now first let's take a look at the benchmark results after this update and we'll compare it with the previous build so here with single core device have scored 801 and with multi-core device have scored 3438 so almost similar benchmark results on previous build single core had scored 791 and multi-core scores were 3400 with Antutu benchmark application, scores are 7,35,582. On the previous build, scores were 7,33,168. But I did notice a bit of throttling issues here with this latest update. So let me show you CPU throttling results. You can see towards the left hand side, we did notice a bit of dip in the graph. But max CPU throttled up to 90%. On the previous build, max CPU had throttled up to 95%. With every update, OnePlus have been improving a lot many things like animations are way better now compared to the previous builds and even overall stability of the device. Though we'll get to know more about things like battery backup, camera performance and that I'll be covering in a review video. If you take a look at the change logs here, they have improved the system stability and yes guys, you'll notice a bit of difference or you can say improvement in the stability part and the fluency of the system. Later, they have fixed the issue that clearing the background worked abnormally but I have a screen recording of the previous build where I did not find any kind of issues in clearing the background application. For me everything was fine on the previous build also and on this build also. But as said most users don't face all the issues what OnePlus have mentioned in the change logs. Some users do face and once they give a feedback about it OnePlus tries to fix those issues in the upcoming updates. So this wasn't an issue on my device some users might have faced and which has been taken care by OnePlus. Later security patch has been updated with 5th May 2022. Even OnePlus 10 Pro haven't got the June security patch. After that they have fixed some camera crash issues on OnePlus 9 series and along with that they have also fixed the issue of wherein photos used to display wrong information. So I did test out here is the photo which I clicked before updating and in this the location was perfectly fine so I had no issues with that also and the same photo I clicked after updating the device there also I saw same location with both these photos. So for me there were no issues related to camera also. And the last fix they have done with the mobile data which wasn't stable for some users though I personally never use mobile data I'm mostly on Wi-Fi so I'm not aware about this issue. If you guys have ever faced then do let me know. And as I said other things like camera performance, battery backup that I'll be covering in the review video. So tomorrow I'll drop a review of OnePlus 8 series which recently got C.21 version followed by OnePlus 9 series. I'll start using this device as my primary phone from today so that I get a better idea about the stability part and other things. So guys there's nothing much to showcase in this video because most of the changes are only bug fixes nothing new added here. As of now only this much in this video i hope you guys gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day